All right, in this video, we're going to look at uh, four examples of adding and subtracting rational expressions where we have common denominator. Uh, if we have common denominator, then all we have to do is either add or subtract the numerators. That's all we got to do. And then, uh, then we will go ahead and factor and see if we can reduce. Uh, so if we look at the first one here, we have 3x over 17 plus 8x over 17. They do have a common denominator of 17, so when I add fractions, I need them to be the same parts. So these are both 17s, so then I can just add them. So I'll have 3x plus 8x all over 17, and then I can add the like terms, which will make 11x all over 17. I can look to try to reduce. There's nothing to reduce, so that's it. Let's do something a little bit more fun. So when 9x over 24 minus x over uh, uh, 24. Um, remember, uh, if it's just x, it's understood that's a 1x. So what we will do is we'll have common denominator, so we can say 9x minus 1x all over 24, and uh, we'll go ahead and subtract, and we'll get 8x over 24, and then we'll look to reduce, so we have a factor of 8, and uh, factor of 24, so 8 and 24, they have a GCF of 8. So 8 goes into 8 once, into 24 three times, and we're left with x over 3. There's nothing wrong if you want to say 1x over 3, that's perfectly fine too. Okay, let's do something a little more fun. x minus 3 plus 5x uh, plus how much is it? I can't see. Plus 21. Okay over 12. Okay, common denominator, so we'll go ahead and add. So you have x minus 3, and then a good habit to get into is whatever I'm adding or subtracting, if there's, if it's binomial or trinomial, just put parentheses around it so we make sure we distribute either that addition or subtraction sign. Here with addition it doesn't matter, it's where the subtraction is where we we can run into some problems. So if we just, you know, establish this good habit of putting the parentheses around then we'll be in good shape. And over 12. All right, so like terms, I have a 1x and a 5x, which makes a 6x. And then I have a minus 3 and a 21. That'll make 18, and that's all over 12. Now I have a GCF, so after we've done that, then we're going to go ahead and try to factor. So 6 and 18 have greatest common factor of 6, so we'll factor 6 out. And what's left is an x plus 3. And in the denominator, we have a 12. So we have a factor of 6, which will uh, reduce with the factor of 12. 6 goes into 6 once. 6 goes into 12 twice. Okay. And we'll just have x plus 3 in the numerator. And 2 in the denominator. And that's it. All right. We'll look at one more. y squared plus 3y over y squared plus y minus 12 minus y squared, I think that's a plus 12, I can't read it from here, uh, minus 12, sorry, uh, y squared plus y minus 12, okay, and here's where it's really important to put that parentheses around uh, what we're subtracting, so we do have common denominators, so we can just roll with it, we have y squared plus 3y minus parentheses y squared minus 12, and usually what happens is the minus sign will get applied to the y squared, but then we'll accidentally forget to apply it to the uh, minus 12. And I, I don't want you to make that mistake. So if we put these parentheses there, it helps remind us that both things are being uh, subtracted. Okay. And then we got y squared plus y minus 12. So we'll combine like terms. Um, well, after we distribute. So y squared plus 3y minus y squared plus 12. And then I went ahead and went and uh, was efficient and I factored the denominator. So after I, you know, worked on the combining the fractions, I can factor the denominator, see if I have anything that'll cancel in both the numerator and denominator. So the y squared is going to cancel and I'll have 3y plus 12 over y plus 4, y minus 3. And the numerator has a 3 in common, so we'll factor that out. It'll be 3 times y plus 4. So then you're going to see, hey, look, I have a common factor of y plus 4, so we can go ahead and uh, divide that out. So bye-bye y plus 4. 
So what we have left is 3 over y minus 3. The factors in the numerator is 3. The factor in the denominator is y minus 3. We don't have the same factors. Yes, we have a term of 3, and we have a term of 3 in the numerator and denominator, but we can't cancel terms. So that's, that's all we can do.